Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna review Lily's Peanut Butter Cups. And we'll find out if life just got sweeter right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so today we're gonna review Lily's, these are the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I am a Reese's peanut butter girl. Yeah. This is what I would trade my brother for after we <laughs> trick or treated. This is what I would go through the kids bags and steal from them when we trick or treated. Well, I'm excited about this. Now, uh, we did pick these up at Whole Foods and they also have a milk chocolate, which actually isn't that bad of a keto option. It's like one more carb. So it's not horrible, uh, but I actually really like dark chocolate. Plus buying them this way in this individually wrapped package, yes. this way is a little bit more difficult to find them as opposed to the bags, but we'll get into that in a little while. Yeah. So we picked these up at Whole Foods and I am super excited. I've got two packages. One of them has been in the refrigerator, one's just been on the shelf. Do we want the refrigerated one or the one that's been on the shelf? Refrigerated. I always like refrigerated chocolate. Yes, me too. So we're gonna go ahead and try these and then we'll put it through our five things review. Now, they are a pretty decent size. That looks almost- Are we gonna each eat a whole one? Yeah, why not? So let me show you guys what this looks like. So it's- Pretty decent thickness, pretty decent size. A little bit bigger than maybe like, I don't know, a nice big half dollar. It's It smells chocolatey delicious. It smells like chocolate. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, wow. Put mm -hmm. them in the refrigerator. Let me show you guys the inside of this. That is good. I still gotta do the dunk though. I'm actually gonna save this because I want to enjoy it. Gotta do the dunk. Gotta put it in my coffee. Yeah, Rachel always likes to dunk her chocolate in coffee. Oh yeah. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use this one to read. So <laughs> you wanna do five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Number one is the ingredients. Uh, so the ingredients in this are chocolate, which is unsweetened cocoa, erythritol, chicory root fiber, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, vanilla extract, and stevia extract. Okay. So if you don't know anything about Lily's, Lily's does sweeten their chocolate with stevia. They're like one of the first companies that actually does it. They really are. And for a long time, they were the only one that you could really find if you were doing any kind of keto baking or anything like that, unless they were using maltitol or something like that, some other companies. Right. Okay, then we have peanut butter. The peanut butter is peanuts, palm kernel oil, erythritol, peanut flour, chicory root fiber, coconut oil, palm oil, salt, sunflower lecithin, and stevia extract. Now I gotta be honest, I wish that they had just gone heavy on the peanuts, maybe yeah. added a little bit of a stevia sweetener. I can understand that, but. Yeah, and I think what they're going the for is more of like that Reese's peanut butter thing, so it wouldn't be straight peanut butter, but it's kind of a lot of ingredients for peanut butter. I mean, they're not horrible ingredients. I would prefer not to have palm kernel oil in there. Yeah. Uh, but it is what it is. It is a treat. We're gonna it go is. with that. And like you said, they're looking for more of that consistency you're familiar with right. from a Reese cup. Yeah. So ingredients, I would give them like seven or eight out of 10. Okay. They're not perfect, but if I'm doing this as a little bit of a treat, I personally wouldn't steer away from it. There's no. a lot worse things I can do than having this. Heck yes. Especially when it comes to chocolate. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Let's check it out. And here we go. So. 
Servings are one in this package, <gasps> which is why I like this. Seriously? Yeah, so a serving size Both is two pieces. Aww. So amount per serving is 170 calories. That's actually so really reasonable. So if you eat each one of them, what is that going to be? About 50, 85 calories, 83 calories, something like that. Nice. Uh, total fat is 15 grams. Protein is four grams, so much higher in fat than protein. Nice. 16 total carbohydrates. Okay. Eight grams of dietary fiber, which you're going to find with any of the chocolates or stuff. Then they're also adding chicory root fiber. Uh, then we have six grams of erythritol. So it is two net carbs for the package or one net carb if you only have one. Right. So share it with a friend. So I actually like them once in a while. And that's what I do is I have one mm -hmm. and then I save the other one for later. Yeah. And that's going to kind of lead me to, we'll talk about it in a little while, but again, these are available this way. They're also available in a bag and the bag comes with six cups. That's two. That's, that's not Rachel proof. What I like is these are, these were more expensive mm -hmm. than the bag. I'm worth it. But I like this because it's going to be easier for me to control myself. Absolutely. Okay. So that's going to bring us to number three, which is. How does it taste? How does it taste? Tastes really good. Now, if you're expecting Reese's peanut butter cup, you're probably going to be kind of disappointed. These are dark chocolate. It's dark chocolate and the amount of peanut butter is nowhere near as thick right. as a Reese's peanut butter. Now, I will say I have had the milk chocolate ones. I had them once. I have not. And they are a good milk chocolate. They're a little bit higher in total carbs. I think they're like one or two, but it's not a bad option, but I actually do prefer the dark chocolate. I've come to like dark chocolate. Yeah. Took some took some getting used to. But if you like milk chocolate and don't like dark chocolate, they do have the milk chocolate option, which I think is just as good. Nice to have some flexibility. But these are really good because they're not like dark bitter. A lot of times dark chocolate can yeah. be bitter. No, I think Lily's has really got their dark chocolate game going on. Yeah. Number four, how much do they cost? Now, before you say anything, the because one, you don't know, I don't know. I have no idea, but let me tell you, I'm kind of excited. I can go to the store and just get them mm -hmm. because this feels like a very much a specialty product, right? Like we're getting right. specific, you know, and it's not just regular chocolate, like a chocolate bark, but we're getting into actual candies. Yes. And I feel like I'm probably going to have to buy those online only, but right. now we can get them at Whole Foods, which right. is kind of nice. And you can get Lily's chocolate bars at a lot of different places, but my issue with the Lily's chocolate bar is I personally am have a hard time to not eat the whole bar. Me too. I, I mean, I'm going to eat at least half the bar, which is more than I really want to eat. And so I like it like this. And so we're going to go into the price. The price of this package in Whole Foods, regular price, is two dollars and forty nine cents. Okay, well it's not so as it's bad a as I thought. So it's dollar twenty five per cup. Okay. Now, like I said, you can get in Whole Foods a bag which has three servings, six cups in there, mm -hmm. and the bag is five dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh wow! So you're gonna save a little bit of money. So you figure you're saving a dollar fifty if you buy it in the bag. So what I would do, because I am a money saving person, mm -hmm. is possibly buy the bag, hand it to the children with a, a thing of um, Ziploc bags and say, can you please put each of these in a bag <laughs> so that I'm not handling the bag? Well, well, here's what I'm going to say. And this is this is my personal opinion is I would rather spend a little bit more money and buy it this way. And when I'm really in that hankering for the chocolate, Oops. I have to get my butt in the car. And go get And one. drive to Whole Foods and pick one up. Or maybe keep one in the house. Mm -hmm. But if I keep that bag of six peanut butter cups in the house. You're going to eat that bag. I'm going to eat all six of those within the first two to three days. At minimum, I'm having a serving a day. Whereas if I have just one of these, when it's, I'm probably, I want to make it last. It's done. So I'm probably only going to eat one cup today and then one cup tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have to make another trip. So I just feel like it's for me personally, it's going to be easier to control myself if I just spend a little bit of extra money and going this way. Also, this is not the first time we tried to make this video. We did try to make this video two weeks ago. And our son, Caleb, found them. In the refrigerator. And ate them. He's like, oh, I didn't think you would want that chocolate. 
I'm like, who doesn't want chocolate? We don't want chocolate. But that's a good testimonial because he's not doing keto right now. Right. And he loved them. He scarfed them up. But so, it took me two weeks to find them again. So So if, if you find them, you you might want to buy a couple packages. Yeah. Maybe hide them like treasure. So yeah, so two fifty for the two, six dollars for six cups. Again, for me, I just like it's one of those things where if I have a whole box of something, I'm going to eat the whole box. Mm -hmm. And I know that's an issue that you have. Definitely an issue. Where sometimes it may be better to spend 20, 30, 40, 50 cents more for something to control yourself a little bit easier. True. Just but my opinion. The thrifty girl on the inside of me says, Rachel, get your act together. Get some Ziploc bags and stop your nonsense. You got to have the Ziploc bags, but then you have to hide the Ziploc bags from yourself. That's the issue. That's true. I always have Ziploc bags, but they do have spiders on them. Yeah. So. Because Halloween. So number five, would we recommend these? I would absolutely recommend them. And I think this is a great alternative for kids. Yeah. Right? Do they like Reese's peanut butter cups? Get them these instead. And honestly, it's not that much more expensive than traditional chocolate. Yes, they're smaller. But, I mean, I know if you go to the gas station, I mean, chocolate bars are up to like two bucks now. Yeah. Now, yes, they're bigger. I'm not going to deny that they are bigger, but you're getting much healthier ingredients in this. You're well, not giving your kids all of the sugar. You're giving them some stevia. And, you know, even Anthony and I, we did that video for the keto box, and he was like, this chocolate is good. Of course, at the time, we thought that that was $40 because Amazon had it listed wrong. I don't know if you saw that. But I did. It, yeah, it's when laughing. you went on Amazon, it said it was forty dollars a bag. They it was a misprint on their website. It was forty dollars for six bags. Phew. But they didn't even have the picture of six bags. They had a picture of one bag. So it like it was an honest mistake. But yeah. he liked it. He said it was really good. And this is a kid who loves sugar and usually doesn't like stevia or resveratrol sweetened chocolate. Well, remember, a lot of our stuff is it's fat. Yeah. Right, and there's some flavor in the fat, so yeah. there's some, you know, usually some deliciousness going on, yeah. even in in the keto chocolate yeah. snacks. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend this. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried the Lily's peanut butter cup of candies, mm -hmm. and let us know whether you've had the milk chocolate, the dark chocolate, and which one you prefer better. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.